Hi, I'm James Warren from OA Systems. Today I want to take a look at a preview feature uh, coming in the October update for Dynamics 365 Sales Hub. It's called Deal Manager and it is to help focus on how your sales team can manage their opportunities. So normally when we're working with clients, uh, we often add the Power BI functionality to the system to give them a bit more effectiveness around how to see charts and how to make them more effective, which has been an incredibly useful feature to add to the system. Uh, and as you can see, they're interactive and reflective and those sorts of things. But what we do know is people are asking for them to be a bit more streamlined and to be able to click on and drill down. And that's where this new deal manager feature really seems to deliver. If you've seen my other video where I talk about the Unified Service Hub being pulled into the workspace for customer service, this is essentially using the same technology that they've delivered there and bringing it into the sales area of the system. So you'll see I've enabled the preview in the system. Obviously there may be some small changes to this before it goes live, but I think it's quite uh, fully featured. Uh, and what happens when you click on that is you'll see I've got my all opportunities open here. And what it will do is put a bubble chart up the top. Um, it will give you across the top of that chart a number of criteria where you can see roll-ups, so total number of deals, pipeline value, you can go along and read for yourself, obviously. Um, those are editable, so you can actually come in to this view here and edit metrics. So if you don't want to see some of those things, you can unclick them and they go away. Or if you want to create your own metric, uh, there is an option for you to use the filters on opportunity to do that. Uh, so that's incredibly useful from my perspective. Um, when you are going down and looking at the next level down the list, what I'm going to do is just uh, change the view so it only shows the list for the moment. Um, you get some functionality around grouping. So if you've used the editable grids in Dynamics, this is essentially using that feature, but in a slightly tweaked way. Um, one of the reasons I really like this view over the standard view of opportunities in the system is it is by default an editable grid, so you can come in and change this. But you'll see down the bottom we have uh, this roll up. So it can give you a summary, an average, a minimum or a maximum. So that's something that's just a little bit more uh, time effective uh, for people who are looking from a management perspective or if you're looking to meet your KPIs to see what you've got going on there. Uh, you can also come in here and edit columns. So if you don't actually need to see something like um, the rating or the probability, I don't know why you take those things away, but it is there. And same thing as before, you can add an additional column, uh, basic or smart columns into the feature there. So um, that's really just uh, going and grabbing things from the opportunity form and putting them in the system. So excellent control over what you're viewing uh, in this opening page. That's all great. And what I'm gonna do is just jump back to the combo view and show you what it looks like if you're looking at open opportunities. So is this editable? First question, yes. You do have the ability to go into the back end and change your X and Y axis. Uh, you can come in and change uh, how it's segmented, um, the size of those bubbles, um, the legend, so obviously what color attaches to what, uh, and also the tooltip. So this is what a tooltip is. So you'll see what's happening when I'm hovering over the bubble is it's showing me uh, why that bubble looks like it does. So you'll see if we hover over all of these, this is in the proposed stage, and that uh, color there is all of our opportunities in propose. And if I go into one of the different colors, you'll see it's develop, uh, and over here there's a qualify. So you get a view of how far through the process you are, uh, the size of the opportunity, and also the date by this kind of view. But as mentioned, you can adjust that significantly. Um, also, you are able to jump over to the sales funnel. So if I'd have jumped into that when we were in all opportunities, you'd have seen that would have included all of the things that are in the close stage. Uh, and you can adjust this legend as well. Um, and coming into the open opportunities, you'll see all the closed ones are obviously not showing up in that view. So this is great, uh, but the question really comes in, how is this usable? Oh, you'll see I've grouped by account here, but if I go and group by none, 
um, that will show me the full list. But you can also come in and filter here. So if I come in and filter by account, uh, and let's see, AdventureWorks. Um, if I come in and group by that and apply that, what it will do is it will reset all of these and you'll see um, you get that roll up of just that account, the view of uh, opportunities over time. And you can, you can really start to come in and see who are your best clients, who have you got the most opportunities with. Uh, and whether they likely land. All of the main things that a sales rep really wants out of a system. Where it really delivers, and this is the bit that I think is going to be most useful to our clients who are using the system as a sales tool, is being able to click on that record and then what you get is this quick form on the side. It's not the full dynamics view of the record, so this is not the full opportunity form, but it is editable. So if you want to come and put some different key details on the form, you are able to go and do that. Um, but then what it does is just delivers really specifically along the lines of those sort of key details. You know, the status is open, the rating is hot, the value is this, the contact we're dealing with is this person, and here are the notes, and here are the tasks. Really sales focused capabilities. If you've got a lot of notes, um, you can just click on the notes thing and see all of the details there and quickly add it to the record. And if you've got a lot of tasks, once again, being able to add or being able to close them very quickly um, comes in this form. Of course, you might want to jump out to the full record. There we go. You click on that button, full records open. Uh, and as you can see, that will match all of the visuals that you've got in the system through that chart. So the really interesting thing about this is this is functionality that we are going to be able to deliver across other records. So this is not going to be locked into only the deal manager, but the deal manager is sort of the first place in the sales hub where this will be available. But these tools will come to us to be able to customize your system. So if you're not a sales organization, say you're a fundraising organization or something like that, um, and you don't want to use opportunity, uh, you want to use a, a custom record, um, we will be able to go down that path at some point in the near future. It will be after the October update. But that is a really quick look at an interesting new piece of functionality and usability that's coming to the system. Uh, and obviously, if anyone in our region wants to have a chat with us about how to implement it, how to use it, and how to get the best out of it, um, look into how to contact OA Systems. I'll keep doing videos like this and I'm really looking forward to a few other things that are coming in the October update.